plasticinjection.co. Okay, so these are all the materials that we use today in 2016 and 2017 in 3D printing. This uh, material set does not include polycarbonate because polycarbonate isn't really used uh, anymore because of the manufacturing time. They use uh, FDM and nozzles that take forever to print anything out. So for rapid and durable, uh, modern, modern meaning the last year instead of the last two years, these are the materials we use and I'll tell you about them. Our uh, first one is nylon. It's just pure nylon. The first and second one are both working parts. They're designed. The actual material is very durable, but there's pros and cons to each one of them. The second one is glass fill nylon. Uh, it's good at higher temperatures than basic nylon and depends on air pressure, depends on usage environment, um, depends on your design as well as to what temperature these things start to melt or distort at. But these are working parts. Number three, if you can see the difference, I think you can actually see the coarseness and rigidity, or I'm sorry, the coarseness difference. The third material is ABS-like. It's very rigid. Uh, it's a, a little bit more fragile than the first two, so we don't like to call it a working part, but its accuracy is very high. It's a high precision part because the 3D printers, that you, you see the edges in the upper right-hand corner, it's very, very clean. It's down to very small microns. Whereas here, you can see that it's, it's kind of fuzzy looking, right? There you go. You can start seeing that there are stepping that's happening here. And here, kind of the same thing. That's just because it's harder. So you, you can actually see the uh, patterns in the 3D printing process. Whereas here, voila, nothing. Smooth as a baby's butt. And I'm going to go through and show you. Oh, it's even having a hard time focusing. There it is. Focusing because it's so smooth. Okay. There it is. I should do that. Now, the next material I'm going to show you are, are clear. If you need clear, here is ABS and acrylic. These are clear materials. And then finally, ceramic fill, which is good at the highest temperatures, uh, 220 degrees Celsius. And it's very, very smooth. So the reason why there are all these different types of materials is based on your application. Let me see if I can get this to focus for you. Oh, come on. There it is. And so some materials are smoother and more accurate. For instance, if you have to uh, incorporate these with other parts, and if it's, if it's being used as, say, a spare part or whatnot, or just as a, a prototype that you're not going to use, or maybe transparency, maybe you have to be able to see light going through uh, the material, whatever your needs are. If you're going to operate in high temperature, high pressure, or underwater, these are all considerations. And so depending on your, your usage, we'll choose the right material for your project. So we do kind of have to know what environment, what usage, and what um, uh, conditions the end product will be used in. To contact us, we're at plastic-injection.co.